In the depths of Nephilia, he began his tale. A rebel soul who dared to challenge the veil. All right, welcome to Tibble's Apprentice, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to waste any time. Going to get in here and start blasting. What are we going to do? We're going to put lots of small creatures on the battlefield, pump them up, and then fling them at our opponent without actually flinging them. It's this cutthroat cell sword uh, that's going to do the work here. But this is a decent hand. We've got some prowess. Let's see what we can do about building this up right now. We'll swing in and hit him just as hard and as fast as we can. We're only on our second turn. Can we do this turn three? Uh, I don't know, they're gonna give us every opportunity by not responding. So, uh, let's see, let's hit for what we can. Let's go ahead and put this down. Not everything in here is flash speed, but that knocks him down nice and hard. Looks like we're gonna go, oh, wait, we're gonna have to take a little bit longer now. We've been put on our back foot. Um, uh-oh, this is going to be something of an issue. Uh, oh, maybe not. Let's just do this. And, ah, uh, well, <laughs> they, they see what's coming. So, moving on to the next game. Uh, going to do the same thing again. Lots of small critters that do damage to the opponent. Do the damage when they hit. Put a little bit of, uh... A little bit of trample on there so we get through no matter what and uh, again we'll do that cell sword thing let's get as many on the board as we can and uh, if they wipe them out they wipe them out again we want to see whether this deck works you know not under the best con God dang it uh not under the best conditions but under every condition oh and they're gonna take something out of our hand this is uh ah huh, this is not gonna be you know what we don't really care. Uh, instance, yeah. So let's go ahead and attack. And now we can cast this if we need to. They're certainly not going to block. I could throw them away and do some damage. That's not the one I wanted to throw away. But that gets this back into my hand. And um, yeah, we'll decline that so we have something to cast it on. Now if they've got another removal spell, we have to... Yeah! I could just use that out of spite. Nah, I'm not going to do that. All right. Now we'll use it out of spite <laughs> so they can't get anything. And there goes the Oh, and they're going to kill my... You know what? Well, let's kill that then. All right. So let's see what we can do about getting some more creatures. Yep. Can't have that land. Oh, this is the addition that I made to the deck. I did not have all the wild cards that I needed. So a hasty creature that grows exponentially, well not exponentially, but grows based on the amount of land that you have, is a handy card and a good replacement for, ah, there we go, sweet, for the other prowess creatures and stuff that I didn't have in here before. Now if they've got more removal, uh, I can fly over, here we go, this, the uh, callous cell sword, what the hell did I call that earlier, whatever it was it was wrong. Uh, let's do this, and then we can cast him too. Normally I don't cast him much, but I want to get this guy down as low as I possibly can. I risk losing it by putting it down and then potentially having, ouch, but then potentially having some removal, but you know what? It's a chance I'm willing to take because I figure they burned all their stuff out on the first, the first few small creatures. All right, I'm going to take another hit here. That's going to be something of a problem, but let's, uh, let's block. There we go. Sweet. Uh, yep. And it's just taking me a little bit longer. I did, well, I was going to say I did promise. I did say this potentially was a turn three kill. Um, with a little bit of tweaking, you can do a little bit more with it and do it better. But um, because I only had a few wild cards and I wasn't able to build the deck as seen on TV and seen on YouTube, um, this 
was another addition that I made it putting uh, putting Liliana in there and I think that's probably it's probably gonna be game yeah yeah I think so we'll take a look at the deck at the end of this but again I like to get two out of three games always tell them that you had a terrible time because they need to do so much more work on this but we're gonna stay positive this I am positive is a playable hand so hi there when they say hi they almost always figure they've got the game locked so <laughs> all right you're still gonna get a little bit of damage in here uh, might as well put this down if they've got the removal they've got the removal I have a little bit of late game plays in the uh, you know with those dragons coming in and being able to attack what the what was that that doesn't count let's play another one <laughs> we're gonna scratch that one and just consider that a draw or something else let's actually play a game out and get three consistent games if we can all right so uh yeah they're not taking anything else so that's good we'll get this on the battlefield get that prowess trigger activated put that on there and swing in nice solid hit for six second turn down to third turn oh and there oh no so I, i'm not going to call this a mirror match but ouch that was flipping painful what can i do about that well let's do this let's <laughs> let's take him out turn three yeah build it all up we will swing in after the fact we will take this fling it at their face in your face that's the game let's take a look at what this deck contains um as always if you're buying cards go to tcg player go to dark ritual look for dark ritual that's me buy some cards from me yeah that's my plug for the game my plug for the video thanks for hanging out this long i'm surprised you stuck around i really do appreciate it so tiny bones was another addition of mine um like i said this deck could be built up with a little bit faster mana but all of these things being such a low casting cost coming in at flash speed at instant speed not everything here is instant speed you saw that was a sorcery but that um and some basic land that's really all there is to it this deck works well i'm not guaranteeing anything but i'd like you to play it and tell me how it does for you in the meantime thanks for watching appreciate the time you spend with me here at temple's apprentice have a great day